pretty much lived on the streets since I was 11. Been to prison, got about 30 plus years in. Back when I was a kid, they didn't know what ADHD was, so they didn't know how to treat it. And I stayed in trouble. There comes a point where the drugs ain't getting you high enough no more and you want something more. When I hit my bottom, I still had cars, I still had houses, I still had money, but I was spiritually empty. I did things that I'm not proud of, which led me to rehab. And in rehab, I was told to start my life over. I had to change everything. The moment that um, drastically changed my life was uh, the day that I got shot. I was shot five times maliciously. And um, first thing that came to my mind was what goes around comes around. You know, it really changed my life because I figured, like, if this is the way I'm going to go out, then I did something wrong in my life and I need to do something better. A chef that I was working with in the rehab I was in told me about this place and I checked it out and just totally fell in love with the program. Fair Start is not an easy program. You have to really, really want it to, to get through it. There was times I didn't think I was gonna make it. I remember one time, this is when I first, the first guest chef night. I felt uneasy standing in front of those people, you know, because I didn't know them. I didn't wanna know them. And I had an ego that was the size of this apartment. And I really don't think I fully had the significance of what Fair Start was at that time. And uh, he told me I had to go in or either go home. And I choose to go home. <laughs> but Garland talked me in and I, I was really ready to quit Fair Start at that time. Garland, Garland talked me into staying and I appreciate that. I'm glad he told me to stay. That's just one of the ways that they earned my respect. I love them for it. They made me feel like I was worth something. They, they're the ones that told me, we know you can do it. It's not easy. You do a lot of work, but the best part about it is, it's not charity, it's not a handout either, you're earning it. I don't have to feel like I'm not worthy because I've earned what I've gotten. And I get my foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I work. This is home. This is where I work at. Fair Start felt like an extended family. They didn't know the past that I had. They didn't know why I was here. They didn't know the redemption that I was seeking, you know. But I think that they kind of felt that, you know, this is what we do. This is, you know, it doesn't matter. The biggest thing is I've, I've found self-worth again. This place gives me everything I need. It's about all I can say. It's, it's, when I go home, it's not like another job. I don't go home tired. I go home with a feeling of self-worth. I'm happy when I go home. The best part for me was being on the grill. That's where I had the most fun. I mean, under pressure, you're popping off orders and you're keeping up. It's pretty cool. I spent like the last 10 years taking from communities and just felt I needed to give back. Heard that Fair Start was hiring and wanted to come back and be just like the instructors that instructed me. Children's Hospital is looking at me, you know, and it's a possibility that they're going to pay for part of my education to go on and be a nutritionist. 
I've met people in bad ways. <laughs> so now I want to, you know, be a good person. And Fair Start did just that. You know, it gave me a chance to find myself. I'm not a chef yet, but I can cook. That's one thing for sure. Basically, the first thing you're going to learn on, on the front line here is to sound like the fox, which is close, close the mouth, open the ears. That's the first thing to learn. I got new hope to go more, to go further. This is exactly where I want to be. Love is something that you earn, like respect, you know, and they've definitely got both of them for me, love and respect.